Hey YouTube, it's me Sharice here and I have my sister. Hi. And what's your name sister? I'm Dominique. And how old are you? I'm 16. About to be 17. Yes. So we're here at the um, the lake here in uh, Washington State. You guys know I'm on vacation. And I thought today's troublesome topic video should be about confidence. And I wanted my sister to be in the video because I think even though she's super young, she's very confident and secure in who she is as a person. So to me, when I think about confidence, I think about the ability to be yourself. There's nothing more empowering than knowing who you are and just being yourself, not feeling pressured to be anyone but yourself because nobody can be you better than you. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel pressured to be anyone else. And um, yeah, it's like 86 degrees. It's kind of hot. You know, we're kind of glistening. Ooh, mm. But my edges are laid though, so. My edges laid. I got too. a lot of gel, so I'm not really scared my hair's gonna poop up or anything. But just so you can see some of the water. See the people in the water back there? Yeah. You can see the mountain over there. Yeah, you guys can see the mountain. I think far off in the distance. But yeah, we're on the base. But back to confidence. I just wanna let you guys know that if you wanna be the best at anything, be the best at being yourself. It's better to be authentic and original than to be a copy or strive for perfection, which we already know nobody but Jesus and God can meet. So just do you, be you, be happy, because if you try to be anyone else, you're gonna fail because that's not who you are. Right. If you try and fit the mold of what society or somebody else wants you to be, you're not gonna be happy because that's not who you are. Also, when it comes to confidence, I had a train of thought and I lost it. My cousin being confident, you're always going to be too loud, too tall, too pretty, too fat, too ugly for somebody. Mm -hmm. So you can't please everyone. What matters is what makes you happy and what makes you feel like you. And you may not know who you are if you're a little bit younger, but don't feel pressured to, you know, by your friends or even by family. Just change. do what feels good to you because me and Dominique are very different and sometimes I look at Dominique like she's crazy, but I've come to realize that that's, that's just who she is. We're two different people. Like, you know, Dominique's very into the whole twerk movement and stuff. You know, she likes to do that. I like to dance. She likes to dance. I like to work out. Yeah, she likes to work out. I don't like to work very out. Active. I do like to dance. I do joke around with her sometimes, but I'm more of the serious, more, you know, studious. You know, you need to be thinking about the future kind of sister. And Dominique is more of let's live in the now, let's have fun. My future will take care of itself kind of sister. That's not true. Not the... No. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're more like let's live in the now. You know, like I'll do it when I want to or I'll do it later. When I'm like, no, no. you need to be doing this now. You need to have your social security number memorized now because you're 16. But I'm just like, oh, I'll just wait. I got time. I'll wait. I'm a senior in high school but now, I but I'll put wait. Things, I will not put things off. I mean, you're though. not going to I know it. what I want to do. I have a plan. Yeah. You do have a plan, but I'm I thinking... I just... I just don't get caught up with them um, worrying about it. Yeah, I mean, we're not worried yeah. about it. We just want you to be ready, you know? Okay. Yeah, but we know that she's confident. See, she's confident herself. She knows that she has a plan. Yes. And even though she's not jumping on it right now, she's going to make it happen. Even though everybody else is talking about, I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. It's all right here. Yeah, she, think, she thinks she knows, but she'll find out, right? The Lord. What verse? What verse? Book chapter? <laughs> Proverbs 10, 23. Oh, really? What is it? Yes. Oh, I, do I have my Bible? Okay. Oh, I do have my Bible. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, don't leave. Let's walk. Okay, so we're gonna get up a walk. But yeah, back to confidence. What else can we say about confidence, Dominique? What else? You got any advice for young girls about confidence? Confidence? Well, tell, what do you think confidence is, Dominique? And I'll give what I think it is. I think confidence is truly being happy mm -hmm. about yourself and not and being okay for who you are. What else? That it? That's basically what I think it is. I agree with her. To add on to that, confidence is being able to 100% be yourself. There we go. And not feel any way about it because let me tell you from my life experiences, I've always been told, even by my family now, 
that I'm too skinny or I'm a stick or I'm too this or I'm too that or I'm too mean. People tell me this lipstick is too bright. You know, people, my forehead is too big. You know, every, like people will find every little thing to say about you. Yeah. That's why it's so important to have confidence. So important to have confidence and be confident in who you are as a person, what you look like, because God made each and every single person unique and an individual even identical twins are individuals they may have the same dna but they're two different people they have two different minds you know they may look exactly alike but they're two different people and every, i think every person needs to embrace their uniqueness their individualness i don't think that's a word but uh you know what i mean so you guys have a great summer you guys be yourselves don't feel pressured. Yes, yeah, stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself because if you don't, no one else will. Mm -hmm. Even family. We know sometimes family don't even stray to you, stray, stay true to you sometimes, you know? We know these boys out here ain't gonna stay true to us. So you, you need to stay loyal. true to yourself because these humans ain't loyal. Get yourself a dog. Bye. Ah! I forgot to add on the topic of confidence. When other people talk negatively wow. about you, it's a reflection of their own insecurities. When they say bad things about you, it's because they feel some type of way about themselves. Mm -hmm. So when people call you ugly, it's because on the inside, part of them feels ugly about themselves, which is sad. So when people talk bad about you, don't repay that wrong back because the Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. It's going to come back to them. Right. Okay. God will pay them and they probably have more issues than you do, which is why they're preying on you and criticizing right. you because they have their own internal issues and struggle and yeah. they want to take out that frustration on someone else that they see doing a little bit better than them or that, you know, yeah. they just need to hurt somebody and because also, they're hurting inside. And also keep in mind that nobody's perfect. Yes. You're going to have things that you may not like. Mm -hmm. You're going to, you have to learn how to love your what's the word love your your curves and all your edges your perfect imperfections yes <laughs> yes everybody's mm -hmm. imperfect everybody's imperfect we all have flaws but just yes. love who you are and yes. develop like play on your strengths love who you are yes, and because... get good at what you're good at because there's always gonna be somebody who's better we already know that there's somebody else who's better at something than you are but just be happy with what you got be thankful for what you have yes. and do the most you can with it to change the world and make yourself a better person I think that might be it for confidence. I might ask my mom to make a video, add something to this. We'll see what she says. <laughs> Good life? Yeah. So my mom, she doesn't want to say anything about confidence, but they're both, they're both right there. <laughs> but um, the last thing is that I think the problem, the troublesome part of confidence is that a lot of people look to others to verify or validate their self-worth. And I see this a lot happening with social media, you know, how many likes can I get? If I don't have likes, nobody likes me, you know? Or nobody cares if I don't have such and such amount of likes or why is so-and-so liking somebody else's picture more than mine or whatever. Don't look to others to self-validate your worth and your value. You need to know that all on your own without anybody else telling you. That's a part of being confident. So yeah, I think that might be all. I should have wrote notes, but I was kind of inspired by a video I watched this morning by um, Smartista Beauty. You should go check her out here on the YouTube. And um, it's a beautiful day. I'm going to take a shot of the lake so you guys can see. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.